Welcome to our tutorial on automated data collection with FacePager. You can use FacePager to collect large amounts of data for your research project. In today's tutorial, we will show you how to download pictures and videos from Twitter. As an example, we use the tweets from nine of the highest circulation newspapers in Germany. The tweets are needed as starting points to download the associated images. With the preset get tweets of user, we download the tweets, what we show you now in a fast run. But because we need the respective extended URL format to download the videos from Twitter, we have to add the tweet mode parameter and set it to extended. You can also set the maximum pages higher to receive the tweets from the last seven days, which are spread over more than one page. If you still need help with the first data collection, you can find a getting started guide on GitHub. You can now see our dataset of downloaded tweets, which we have pre-filtered according to our seven day limit. By expanding your seed notes, you can see the tweets with general information in your upper left window. In order to be able to see all the information collected about the tweets, click on any tweet. All data for this tweet retrieved via the API will then appear in the upper right window. These are divided into key and value. The key describes the keyword under which the data was requested from the API on Twitter. The information belonging to the key is listed under value. This includes, for example, the creation date of the tweet under created at or its content under full text. In order to be able to download the pictures, you need to search for the key under which the pictures can be found. Since our example is limited to tweets with embedded images, we will select a tweet that contains an embedded image to illustrate this. Some keys are subordinate to others, which you can see by the expanding option. As you can see, we can find the URLs of the pictures under media underscore URL. You can find this under the key extended underscore media point zero. If you are unsure whether you are using the correct key, compare the URL given under the key with the tweet. To do so, copy the URL and paste it into the browser line. If you then see the tweet image, you found the right key. The center right window allows you to decide which data you would like to have listed in your upper left window and stored in the dataset. So it makes sense to delete previous settings by clicking on Clear Columns in order to only keep the data relevant to your collection. For setting the complete key of the picture URLs in your upper left window as an extra column, click first on Media URL and then on Add Column. To download the images, you now have to open the generic module. Using the URLs, you can download data in JSON format just like via an API and save it as files on the hard drive. The advantage here is that, in contrast to the Twitter module, the images can be downloaded using the URL. The next step is to enter the full key as the base path. Normally, the URL of the Twitter API is entered here that is required for the collection. In our case, we don't download the images via the APIs, but via the URL. That's why we enter the key that accesses all image web addresses contained in the dataset in order to download the respective images. To be able to save your collected image files, you need to define a folder under the button download in which the images should be stored. Right next to it, you set the file name. Here it's useful to select objects so that you can assign the images to the associated tweets later. By specifying the file folder and the file name, data is stored on the FacePager database and also saved as files on your computer. Since you can't work further with media files from the FacePager database, it's not necessary to store them there. Instead, you can select the setting file via response and specify that the images are saved as files on your computer. Under settings, you choose the most important settings for the collection. Instead of selecting all nodes individually, you can select all at once by ticking select all nodes. If you want to download the images from the tweets and not from the new site, it is important to raise the node level to 2. With this, you select all subordinate nodes at once. With requests per minute, you can also set how many requests FacePager sends to the API per minute. 
Now time is required. For your collection you have to try out how many requests can be made without encountering the rate limit. Under maximum errors you can specify how many error messages may occur until you receive an error message and your collection is paused. You start downloading the images by clicking on Fetch Data. In the lower right window the status log you will find a protocol of your collection. Here you can see that empty paths or notes skipped appear often. It's because many tweets do not have embedded images and are therefore skipped when downloading. As soon as the collection is finished you can view the downloaded images in the previously created folder. To download videos from Twitter the same steps are required except that you have to enter the key under which the video URL can be found as base path. In our dataset you can see our example URL. If you run the collection now you should see the downloaded videos in your designated folder. We wish you every success in trying it out and thank you for watching. You can download the FacePager program on GitHub under the FacePager releases page. Further information and get started instructions are also available in the FacePager wiki on GitHub. If you have specific questions you'll find answers on Facebook in the FacePager user group. And if you like the video we'd appreciate your thumbs up and we'd be happy to help you using FacePager with the other videos on this channel.